Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yeti. We are in chapter 6 of The Believer's Secret of the Abiding Presence. And now we're going to listen to a devotional Christ glorified. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They were purchased from among men and offered as first fruits to God and the Lamb. Revelation 7, 17 and chapter 14, verse 4. And surely I will be with you always. Who spoke these words? We must take time to know to know him well if we are to understand what we may expect from him as he offers to be with us all day long. Who is he? None other than the lamb slain in the midst of the throne. The lamb in his deepest humiliation is enthroned in the glory of God. He invites us to have the closest fellowship with him, to become like him. It takes time, take reverence and adoring worship to come under the full impression that he who dwells in the glory of the Father, before whom all heaven bows in humble adoration, is none other than the one who offers to be my companion to lead me like a shepherd. Christ, dwelling in the glory of the Father, cares for every individual sheep in such a way as to make me one of those who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Read often the wonderful fifth chapter of Revelation until your heart is possessed by the one great thought of how all heaven falls prostrate and the elders cast their crowns before the throne. The Lamb reigns in the midst of the praises and the love of His random, ransomed people and the praises of all creation. The very Lamb of God comes to me in my daily life. He offers to walk with me and be my strength, my joy, and my almighty keeper. Surely I cannot expect him to abide with me unless my heart bows before him. If possible, I should be in a still deeper reverence by surrendering my life to his praise and service that I may be worthy of the love that has redeemed me. And my beautiful people believe that the lamp in the midst of the throne is actually the embodiment of the omnipotent glory of the everlasting God and of His love. Believe that having the lamp of God as your almighty shepherd and your faithful keeper does indeed make it possible for the thoughts and cares of earth not to prevail and separate you from his love for a single moment. The practice of the presence of God. All possible kinds of bodily mortifications will not arrest a single sin. You ought to expect without any anxiety the pardon of your sins through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Only endeavor to love him with all your heart. One of the notable monuments of his mercy is this. God seems to grant the greatest favors to the greatest sinners who have come to him through the blood of Christ. The greatest pains or pleasures are not to be compared 
with what you can experience of them both when you are in a spiritual state. Do not worry about anything. Fear nothing. Desire only one thing from God, that you might not offend Him. Thank God for all that you do and acknowledge that all your strength to do what is right comes from Him. The foundation of the spiritual life is the high conception and esteem of God in faith. Faithfully reject any thought that would lower your esteem of God and perform all of your actions for the love of God. If you discover that you have not thought of God for a good while, acknowledge your redness apart from Him. It's wretchedness. You will understand what I'm saying. Then return to Him with a greater trust in Him because you find yourself miserable through forgetting Him. Come in my prayer moment. Dear Father, thank you for sending your Son to die in my behalf. Thank you for seating him as the Lamb who was slain in the midst of your throne. Come now into my life and set up your throne within my heart guiding and directing my thoughts and decisions according to your perfect will. Lead me as a gentle shepherd, because I follow you willingly, asking only to be shown the way. When I am enjoying the greatest pleasures of life that you have provided, those pleasures are sweeter because you are with me, sanctifying my daylight, my delight in them. Help me to share the wonderful message of your forgiving and guiding love with others that they might know your saving grace and power. I pray that many will gather throughout the world to praise you and make your loving presence known. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I think it's very clear, my dear ones, if you listen very carefully to these words. It's so important where you are in your fellowship with God. And if you're truthfully looking to yourself in the mirror or examine yourself, you will see exactly where you are. And believe me, God is present. I'm using my word, my own words now in saying this that he just not sticks his nose in everything according to all your business. He is a loving care father. He loves you compassionate. He surrounds you with all the comfort you need, even in your deepest despair even in your deepest pain. Because sometimes we are not able to even use words because we are too much focused on what happens in our moment and maybe our weeks or months or years. Rest 
in your God. Because he is there to guide you, to shepherd you. Because if you're honest with you, yourself, I mean, you see that as a sheep that needs to follow a shepherd, sometimes we like to do our own stuff. And sometimes we are in a bad place. But that's fine, it's an experience richer. Because God is going to use that. My beautiful people, love your God. I love your neighbor as yourself. Don't get you out of the loop. Because you have to take care, very good care of your own self. You have to love yourself. You have to take time for yourself. It is very important. Because if you are not able, who are you going to feed? Spiritual. Giving food to the poor. As well as spiritual. As well. Our natural food. Think about all that. God needs you. He loves you. So abide in Him every second moment of your day. There is a longing, and there's a longing going out from God. He has a strong desire because he wants to love you. He wants to keep you very close to his heart. You will never become an orphan. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. We have a great God. This is your pastor Yeti. Bye.